Okay, this tutorial is kind of a simple one. And for many of you, you probably already know uh, most of what I'm going to show you, but I figure not everybody may know it. Now, uh, hopefully most of you are familiar with SSH, allowing you to remotely log in securely, SSH Secure Shell, uh, much like Telnet, only, uh, you know, 100% encrypted and um, uh, probably a lot more features uh, than Telnet, or at least some more features than Telnet. Um, and you can also transfer files a few different ways securely uh, using this uh, SSH. So let's get started. First off, let's just SSH into a server I have in the other room. So SSH root 192.168.1.2. So I'm using SSH. I'm going to log in as root user in this case, and I am going to uh, this is the IP address of that machine. I'll hit enter and I'll type in my password for that server. Okay, so I'm logged in here. And uh, what we can do here is I'll just go to uh, media, should have a mounted file in there, Chris, and we'll look at some videos and folders, photos I mean, and we'll go to uh, my N900, I backed up my cell phone photos here, we'll look at the ones from 2009, so when I got the phone, and there's a list of files. Now, how do we retrieve, how do we get one of these files onto our local machine? Uh, that's what we're going to do first, and then we'll look at copying files the other way and both ways. So now there's, the way uh, we're going to do this, is I'm going to exit out of that server so I'm back on my local machine here and instead of typing SSH I'm going to type SFTP. Now a lot of you are probably familiar with FTP servers. Well SFTP allows you to do pretty much the same thing but using the SSH protocol. Um, and most instances if you have SSH installed you'll be able to do SF, uh, FTP. So um, uh, I'd say 9 out of 10 times this should work. There are some cases, especially on very slimmed down machines, where this feature may be disabled or not available. But most of the time, if you can log in through SSH, if you do SFTP, and then just like SSH, the user you want to log in as, and the address of the machine, give it your password, you're now logged in. Uh, using SFTP and it works just like FTP, all the same commands you can list out. There's nothing in the folder I'm in. Uh, you can probably type help and it gives you a list of commands just like FTP. Um, and I can CD into my media folder and I can CD into Chris. Now one thing about this as opposed to SSH is I don't think it does tab autocomplete. So right here if I type in uh, VI and hit tab, oh it does. For some reason, I feel like uh, some machines I've logged into don't clear doesn't work because you can't run commands just for transferring files. So uh, autocomplete does work at least in this case. Like I said, I feel like in the past I've tried it on certain machines and it wouldn't autocomplete. And we will move into the same folder we were in before. We'll do 2009. We can list out all the files. And let's say I want to grab this file here. I will just say get and that name, the name of that file. And that is now downloaded to the folder that we were logged in from. Um, and you should be able to do um, mget, just like in FTP to uh, get multiple files. So I think if I do this, should have tested this before I started this tutorial. Yeah, it's gonna start downloading all. So mget is to grab multiple files and I just basically set all JPEGs in this file. I killed it with control C. Uh, but it download a full a few photos before we did that. Now uh, we can also let me exit out of here real quick. Have a look here. You can see those files were downloaded. Now I also have uh, three text files here. I just created for this uh, tutorial. There's actually nothing in them. They're empty. But I want to show you just like before. We can log in to um, that server just as we did before. Type in my password. And uh, I'm just going to go to the temp folder on that server and I'm going to say put file and I can autocomplete by hitting tab, put file one. And now if I list, you can see that we have now placed 
the text file from my local machine onto this server in the folder that we're in. If I type in pwd, it says, uh, you know, it's present working directory, and it says on the remote working directory, I am in the temp folder. And we can also do mput for multiple put, and we can say asterisk.txt, and that should upload all the text files from my local machine to the remote machine. There we go. We did it real fast because they're empty files. There's actually they're nothing. So, um, and we can also do the same thing with JPEGs. We can upload all the JPEGs if I did JPG. And I just uploaded all those JPEGs I had downloaded previously. I uploaded them from my local machine to the temp folder on that machine. Once again, we type exit to get out of there. Well, that's nice if you don't know what you're looking for and you need to go browse around on the machine. SFTP is nice. But if you just need to quickly copy some files to a uh, server, you can use uh, SCP, and SCP is secure copy. It's once again using SSH. If you have SSH installed, uh, this should work most of the time. Uh, I believe it probably could be disabled, but every time I've tried this, this has worked. And I will just say, um, in this case, I'll copy those uh, empty text files. I'll copy all text files, and you can do individual files too, but I'm just gonna say SCP, all text files to root at 192.168, you know, just the address of the machine. And then we say a colon there. Now, if I just do that, it will copy those files to root's home folder on the remote machine. Now, if root has a subdirectory, let's say documents, if you do colon and then type documents, and remember it is case sensitive, forward slash, you will copy it to the documents folder inside the home folder. Now, if you want to copy it to a specific directory outside of the home directory, you just give it the full path name. So in this case, we'll say temp forward slash, so forward slash temp forward slash. So once again, if you remove that, it's going to be looking for a temp folder within the home directory, have that beginning uh, um, uh, forward slash, and it will look at for it in the root directory, not the root home directory, but the root directory of the machine. Now I hit enter there, once again it'll ask for the password, and I will type it in, and it copied all those files to the temp folder. Now, you realize we already had those files in that folder, so it did overwrite them without asking. Keep that in mind, if you're copying files, that they will overwrite any files with the same name on the remote machine. Now, one more thing I want to show you, getting out of the terminal, going into Nautilus, and I'm sure um, uh, many other uh, GUI file browsers may have a similar feature, but if you're using uh, Nautilus as your browser, if you hit Control L to bring up your location bar, your little address bar up here, and clear out everything in it, if you do SSH or SFTP, either way it will default to SFTP, it does the same thing. So SFTP forward slash forward slash uh, will say well, you can do this two different ways. I know that I'm logging in as root. I can say root at 192.168.1.2. And it'll ask me for my password, and I can type that in. I just messed up. And ask whether you want to forget it immediately, remember it till the user logs out, or remember forever, all depending on what you want to do. I'm going to forget it immediately for right now. Click that and you can see it automatically brings us to the root directory on that uh, machine. And now we can go around, we can go into the root folder here. We can go into the temp folder here and see the files we copied over all earlier, the JPEGs and the text files. And you can uh, open up another Nautilus window or in the Nautilus you can hit F3 which will split the window. And I can go like home directory here. So I'm, this is my local home directory. This is the temp folder on the server. I can drag a file and just copy files just by dragging them back and forth. Um, so that's another thing you want to look at. Um, you can also, let's say I log into uh, the home directory here. There's no users on this server here other than root. So let's say I log in as root all the time on this machine constantly. Uh, using Nautilus, I can just take this uh, home folder here, drag it over here to my shortcut links, and then anytime I click on that, it will bring me to it. Uh, once again, if you have it, the password saved, it will automatically log you in. Uh, if not, then it will pop up and ask you for the password. 
Um, now another thing I want to show you, let's close this uh, window here. Once again, hitting control L, bringing this up, SSH colon forward slash forward slash, once again does the same exact thing as SFTP. It will actually change to it once we hit enter. Uh, but before we put in our username here, I said root at and the address. If you leave out root and you just type in the address 192.168.1.2 and hit enter, it will once in the GUI interface here, it will actually ask you for your username. So if you type it in there, it won't ask for it. If you don't type it in, it will ask for a username. Other than that, it's identical. And we'll just say root and I will type in my password. And I will say, uh, you know, forget immediately in this case, connect. And there you can see right away it did change it to FTP, uh, SFTP. And once again, you can just drag files back and forth. If you decide you don't want this shortcut here anymore, you can always just remove it. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful and uh, hope you learned something new if you didn't know about these features. Uh, I use pretty much all three of them all the time, just depending on exactly what I'm doing. And um, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And have a great day.